Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geekabit. I am Penj and welcome to Hospitalize, a hospital building management simulation type game. So kind of like a hospital tycoon game, I suppose. And this does mean, it does worryingly mean that the lives of lots of digital little people are going to be in my hands. Oh dear, I'm very sorry little digital people because I think we know how this is going to go. So this is on Steam now. It's in early access. I have been given a key for the game by the developers and I am playing this as advised by those very developers in the experimental branch because it gives us access to departments. Now I didn't cover departments in the tutorial bit. It wasn't kind of in there. I think there was a blank kind of template holder thing. So the little tutorial did not cover departments. So I don't quite know what's going to go on there. So uh, yes, yeah, so we'll start a new game. But before we do, before we build ourselves a mega hospital that can cure all ills and all ailments and it shall be wonderful and fantastic and it shall be a polished sort of machine where everyone can come in and get well very quickly. That won't happen. Um, I just want to say, it's inevitable there are going to be comparisons between this game and Theme Hospital. Theme Hospital that came out all those years ago. A classic game. I played it, I'm showing my age, but I played it. I played it to death, probably literally at points. And uh, yes, I'm going to try and not do comparisons between that and Theme Hospital. I shall try my best. It might be very easy to slip in and go, oh yes, I remember this. In Theme Hospital, you could do blah. I'll try not to do that. I shall try to avoid Theme Hospital references. But yes, I think it's fairly obvious that there will be comparisons between the two. Okay, without any further ado, let us start a new game. So I get to pick my name. Now I am going to give myself a Dr. Earth. So I'm going to be Dr. Pe Dr. Pengfi or Dr. Penge. That would be better. I'm going to give myself a Dr. I bought that online probably. And the hospital name could be TGC Infirmary. There we go. Okay, doke. Let's start a new game. Okay, first thing to note, spacebar is pause. I like spacebar being pause. They've done that right. They've abided by the unwritten rules of sort of these sort of games, sim type games that spacebar is pause. So yes, I have done the tutorial. The tutorial was okay. It kind of covered the very basics. It had us build a little sort of uh, sort of tiny clinic type thing, which is what we've got to do because you work your way up. You work your way up. So you don't have access to everything to start with. You work your way up to these milestones. So at the moment, our current milestone, we are a local office. So we need to do this. Build a reception, build one office, perform five patient consultations, and then it gives us these things here. So it unlocks more stuff. So when we do this, we then get ourselves a staff room. It means that we're able to perform physical examinations. We're able to then diagnose acne and allergies. And then items we can have are these coffee machines, trash cans, vending machines, and lockers. So yes, yellow is rooms. Purple is kind of examinations and things we can do to help people. These are diagnoses and these are... So blue is diagnoses and green is items. So here we go. We've got some people. We've got a kind of buildy person. We've got, <laughs> we've got some weird cleaner people who... Are, you know, surely you wouldn't be allowed in a hospital with this on your head. You'd need some proper sort of thing. Not just a scarf tied around your head, cleaner people. So my plan, my plan is hospital. I've been in hospitals. I've been in many a hospital. Hospitals have a big load of corridors. I was thinking if we just had one big corridor that went up the middle of the hospital. So one giant corridor that went up the middle and then it could branch off into different bits, into different departments or areas or whatever is required. I thought that'd be quite a good plan. However, it probably is quite expensive. So here we go. This is the construction bit. So this is where we can build stuff and there's all different types of things. There's beds and then there's the decoration stuff of trees and what have you. Parking is empty. Furniture we do use a bit later on. Sanitation? Oh, I thought that was going to be like um, uh, toilets and sinks and things. But no, a dustbin. Okay. And vehicle. Nothing in vehicles. Okie doke. So structure is what we want. However, there are three trees in the way. <laughs> Goodbye trees. In fact, let's get rid of all those five trees. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I don't know if it's supposed to be doing that. But okay, that looked a bit weird. I don't think any of those other trees are going to get in the way. So let's do that. Let's just get him to run over. Now we get money for a tree. We get money per tree that we chop down. Oh my goodness, a big horde of people have come. Okay, right. So there's lots of little builder folk appeared. And what we need to do is build ourselves a little clinic. So what I'm thinking is we build a corridor here that goes up the middle. It goes up the middle. It's a big corridor that can go up the middle of the whole thing. And then we tack onto the side just here our waiting room, so a little sort of reception area, waiting room, and then a doctor's room, so a little sur doctor's surgery room. I think that would make sense, wouldn't it? So if we just do this now, so this is building walls. So there we go. We drag that out. 
that'll do for now, I think. We don't need to make it any bigger. So that costs, what, £6,014.76. Now, there is a really lovely bit in the menus, in the options, where you can choose your um, choose the locality. You can choose your currency. So obviously switch it to where I am, which is Great British Pounds, sterling. So yes, I have 40000 So that, that little corridor bit is going to cost 6000 thousand for that uh okay you know what Joe you know what whatever let's do it let's just get on with it there we go and we need some double doors so let's put some door can you have a door next to the other one nope can't have doors next to each other okay two lots of doors there that's absolutely fine and then we'll have ourselves a waiting room just here so let's have it the same height as that but we don't need it as big so i'd say that maybe that big for now like that and then a doctor's room. So how high are these bits? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, kind of nine high. That's not ideal, is it? So if we have that, two, three, four, five. Let's do that five high for now. We can always change the things. And let's have a doctor's room like that. Oh, it's done some weird stuff with the walls. Yes, it's not realising that it's next to another wall. That's a bit strange. Okay, get rid of that. Oh, right, okay. They disappear fairly easily. Oh, good. Okay, right. And then uh, a door to go into the doctor's room. And let's have double doors to go into the main sort of uh, the big waiting room. Okay, so that's a good layout for now, I think. So we need to hurry time on. So let's speed time on. It's got a, a fairly quick option. They put the floors in. I believe when it's enclosed, they put the floors in. So I thought this was interesting. I've never seen this in a building game of this type before. When they build the walls, look, they, they build it in a kind of weird... We've got concrete and we've laid it in. And they've got the... I don't know. I don't... You might surprise to you to know that I'm not a builder. But these metal bits in the middle, so something, you know, the iron big pins they put in, presumably to make it strong, to give it structure. And then, look, then they build it up. So they build another bit up with another bit of concrete, presumably. And then I imagine it goes to the top. I think the next one goes up to the top. And eventually they all link together. It all links together. It all clicks in and goes click, 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 click. There you go, look. And then it's at the top. And when the ones are adjacent to it are built, it then starts turning into the white wall that we requested. Lots of stuff going on. Okay, yeah, it's a fairly big, fairly big building project for these guys. Yeah, the doctor's room is a bit bigger than I was expecting. <laughs> I didn't want it to be that big, really. Okay, while we're here, then, we can do some of this. So, room assignments. We have to assign rooms to things. Uh, uh, well, yeah, areas as rooms. So, oh, yeah, we can't do anything because there's no items in there. However, that can be a hallway. That can be a hallway, because that is going to be a gigantic hallway that just goes all the way up the middle of the hospital. But yes, so this is going to be an office, as the tutorial told me. So that is going to have a desk, an office chair, and a chair in it. And that is going to be the uh, one of these, a waiting room and a reception area. So all it needs is a counter and some chairs, and it can be both those things. So that's the plan. Right, pause time. Let's get ourselves some stuff. So, uh, furniture. So this room needs a counter. So when people come in through the door, they're going to be greeted by our sort of reception-y person. And uh, should we put it just there? Yeah, why not? Let's put it right there. So they come in through the doors, they see the receptionist type person, and then they speak to those, and then they can get booked in and what have you. Right, put some chairs in as well. Let's put some chairs all the way up there. Now, there is a water dispenser as well. I quite want one of those. So let's pop a water dispenser in the corner because I quite want my people to be able to have water. Okay, so that's that room done. And then this room needed a desk, a corner desk, a shiny corner desk. For now, let's let's just stick with the desk for now. We'll upgrade the doctors to a corner desk in a minute. Okay, a desk. And then he needs an office chair. So the doctor needs an office chair and a regular chair for the person, the ill person to sit in. There we go. So they've got that in that room. And that's what it said it needed to function. And then it needs some people. But let's wait until all that's built first. I think it's probably important to get all these things constructed and in. Because I've not even built the walls yet, let alone anything else. So yeah, look, there's walls that still need to be finished. Come on, chop, chop, build the dudes. Okay, so they're putting some of the stuff in. Right, he's finished that wall. That wall's done. There's a bit on the corner here, which has hardly had any work to it. Come on, you've slapped on this corner bit. I'm sure that's really important, this corner post here. You would have thought that'd be quite key, wouldn't you? But no, no, it's... Is that going to the corner? Yep, and then the last finishing touches. Bosh, it's done. One of you has left some litter behind. Could you not have just put it in the bin? Oh, yeah, there is. There are... There, yeah, there are, there are trash cans. There you go. Oh, dust bins or whatever. Um... Yeah, okay. Should we put one of those in here? 
That might be a good idea. Let's put one there. Why is that red? Why is the bottom of that red? I don't know. And let's put one in the corner of there for now. Why not? Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know why that's red. I, d I don't know why that's red at all. I'm not entirely sure. Does that need to be stocked or something? I don't know. Okay, now we need to employ some actual human beings to work here. So, uh, let's have a look. We can filter it on a doctor. Oh, brilliant. So there's no doctors available. No doctors and a nurse went behind the thing. So there's, <laughs> so there's no doctors and no nurses available. Well, brilliant. This is going to be a good hospital, isn't it? <laughs> Come in and treat yourself. We'll just leave the drugs cupboard open. Oh, just, I don't know. Let's mix these together. Um, okay, well, a doctor. Let's go. Recruitment is a campaign, I assume. We are looking for a doctor. Proposed salary, knock per hour. Budget, knock. I don't know what that means. Proposed salary, knock per hour. Does that go up? Uh, okay. How much does a doctor get paid? I don't know. 30 quid an hour or something? I've got no idea. 30, I don't know. Yeah, thir let's put it to 35. 35 pound an hour and the budget, oh, the budget dictates how long it lasts. Okay. So there's an agency fee of 501. I'm then going to put 607 quid. So this is going to cost over a thousand. I've only got 18 grand. This is going to cost a thousand for me to get this going, is it? To get this little sort of thing running. And then presumably they appear in here? Do I need to sit and watch this? Okay, well, let's hurry time on. Right, pause. There are some doctors. Oh, he seems very good. He paid 56 20 an hour, but he's got some very good stats. Uh, and he can do surgery as well. So if it comes to it, we can always move him. Now, what we might want is two doctors and do a late shift. Because there are shift options as well. I think for now we just stick with one. Let's get Liam Brown. He might be expensive, but he's obviously very good. Okay, now we want to get a nurse. So have we got to do the same thing for that? We are looking... Oh, we can only do one of those at the minute, is it? We can only do one campaign at a time. One recruitment thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a bit annoying, isn't it? Yep, I can't change it. I want to do another one. I want a nurse now. I'm done with doctors. Oh my god, there's loads of them. There are loads of doctors. Okay, but I've only I've got the one with surgery. Oh no, him as well. Social too. That doesn't seem very good for a doctor, does it? Shall I get him for the nighttime shift? 18, 21, 15. 18, 21, 15. Oh yeah, he's not as good at general practicing. And he's very good for general practicing. In fact, he's the cheapest. And he's got the best general practicing, but I don't know his social skills are absolutely woeful. Shall I get Levi Thompson to do the late shift as well? I mean, how much money do we make off these people, off the, off the people? I don't know. Because you can do shift, do you know what? No guts, no glory. Levi Thompson, you're in as well. Join us. Right, and then a nurse. We need nurses. Nurse. And uh, maybe they don't get paid as much. So, I don't know, 24 uh, for that? Yeah, possibly. 24 quid an hour. Let's speed time on. Oh no, is that too low for a nurse? I'm very sorry if anyone watching this is a nurse. I have no idea about nurse wages at all. Oh, don't tell me this is going to draw back nothing. I've just spent over a grand on this campaign and we need a nurse. <laughs> There's no point. <gasps> there, 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 you. Oh, you're a radiographer as well. So you've got very little discipline. You're very good at nursing. Though. That's probably important. All right, we'll have you. Yeah, come on. And then we need another nurse. Oh, it would be useful if we could get two nurses. Another nurse, please. Another nurse. No. Okay, fine. Maybe they just crop up anyway. Maybe they just appear. Okay, so now I think what we need to do is we need to... So that's staff, that's rooms, that's building. Where was it? Rules and guidelines. Oh, here we go. Yes, so there's different rules and things that we can have. Different rules and bits and bobs. So yes, you can have this. So when they're doing... Uh, consultations or when they're doing whatever ultrasounds or whatever you can have them do it safe which takes longer but you probably get the more accurate result you're less likely to make an error you can go normal which is obviously a middle middle ground or you can hurry it up so you get through more people and it's quicker but you might make a mistake the chance of error for whatever you're doing goes up particularly with doing defibrillation procedure you might not want to get it wrong so um and then yes you can do shifts as well now we want to put in a uh whatever evening shift do an evening shift and it can start at uh, let's drag it out so it can start at four that's four o'clock eight till four eight till four is not a full that's not a day shift that's not right that's only that's eight hours you probably have lunch in that as well isn't it 
Yeah, he lazy people. Right, okay, fine, whatever. So we need to drag that out until it's midnight. There we go. And then we want to add another one and have the night shift. The unpleasant... That's got to be capital S to keep it consistent. The unpleasant night shift. Oh, that isn't, though. I'm going to change that. I'm not having that. Uh, and the night shift can be from back this way. I want it to be this way, though. Nothingness. So from there until 8. Until 8. Hello? Until 7.59. So the day shift goes from 8 till 4. That's 4 till midnight. And that's midnight until 8. Also, we are going to correct that and just give it a capital S. Because that's nice. Okay. So we've got three shifts done. Okay. What else is there to do? Now, I believe I haven't done this yet, have I? So that now meets the requirements for a reception area which is good, and also a waiting room. So it can be both those things. So it can be a reception area and a waiting room. And this can be an office because the requirements up there are a desk, a chair, and an office chair. Now, when you take it off, I don't know what that's defaulting to. Reception area. It's defaulting to a reception area for some obscure reason. I don't know. We don't want it to be that. If you mouse over it, an office requires a desk, a chair, and an office chair. Tick. That is now an office. That is good. Uh, oh, I've got some email. Start your practice and help in Indonesia. Okay. Start my practice. You're, to begin treatment of patients, your practice, you'll need to build a... What? <laughs> Hang on, what? To begin treatment of patients, your practice, in your practice, I suppose, you'll need to build a building and hire employees. Well, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Uh, mission goals. One reception, one office, two of that. To, God, can I finish that? Can I get some money out of that, please? Because I finished that right the heck now. I've got all those mission goals. I'm done. Finish. Give me that, please. Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> that is a mission goal, though. Help in Indonesia. Hi, there was a blizzard in Indonesia. I find that unlikely. And we don't have enough staff to care for the wounded. Can you spare a doctor for 11 hours? This mission requires a doctor. No, because we haven't got one. So he's not there. So, uh, no, decline. Sorry, bye-bye. I'm very sorry, Indonesia, but no. Uh, yeah, we want, I want to finish that. We've, we've, we've done that. Maybe we can do that later on. Maybe we'll accept that later on. Okay, so that should be it. That should be it. So we've got the people employed. How do we tell them what shifts to work? How do we tell them what... Oh, there's another nurse. Yes, we needed another nurse. Yeah, we'll have you. You're not very good at doing the nursing. You're very social, but you're not very good at nursing. Well, that's fine. You can get better. So we've got two nurses and two doctors... That's probably a good thing. Oh, oh, hello. Are you a patient? Who are you? I don't know what that was. They took some money off me, though. Did we just get robbed? <laughs> Did one just come and rob this empty hospital? I don't know what that was. That was a bit strange. Uh, okay, do you know what? Let's put some uh, let's put some decoration in in the in the doctor's office while we're here. Let's put a calendar in because they're important. I imagine this makes the room feel nicer and what have you. And a clock. There we go. And then possibly a plant somewhere just i don't know there not there not there probably blocks his route just there i bet uh, a plant and then let's put a plant next to the bin can we rotate the plant no the plant can just stick out from the wall in a slightly irritating way a board let's put a notice board can we put the board just there no we can't rotate the board let's put a board just there as well why not that's fun something just went bing bong does that mean i can do that seminar in johannesburg do you have any doctors who could talk about the dangers of a blizzard in built-up areas? It'll take two hours and reward the doctor with great social skills. I can't seem to accept this. I don't know why. Assign. Select employee. No staff available. Ah, because I've got no doctors on. I've got no doctors on. That's why. Uh, no, I can't then. I actually can't do that. Sorry. So what time do they start? How do I know who's on what shift? <laughs> How does this hospital work? This is a very slapdash effort. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how this hospital functions. I don't know who is on what shift. What was this thing? Ah, yes, this was departments. Now, this wasn't covered in the tutorial. I think in the tutorial it goes departments and it's blank, I think. I don't remember it doing anything. So the polyclinic. Is this the polyclinic? Let's go to that. Okay, I assume that's part of the polyclinic. Then. Do you want to unassign this room? No. No, I don't. Is that polyclinic? Do you want to unassign this room? No. Is this all the polyclinic? Don't want to unassign this room. Well, that's a hallway, so yes, I probably do. Uh, okay. So we can click that. We can pick a manager, can we? There's no staff available. We definitely can't have three managers. 
Uh, patience, there's no patience. Staff. Staff. Scope is any symptom. So anyone with any symptom, they come to here. So this is like triage. This is like your first port of call to figure out what you got. I am a bit unwell. And they look at you and go, yes, you are unwell. You've got bimbly bombly itis. You need to go to the bimbly bombly ward. That kind of thing. So can I change the name of it? Because polyclinic, is that an American thing or something? Because I've never heard of that before. We definitely, well, I've never heard of a polyclinic in the UK. I don't know what that is. Uh, pick a colour. Oh, yes. Okay, right. Yes, we are having the brightest of pinks. Oh, no, actually, that's a, that's a little bit harmful on the eyes. There you go. That's quite nice. Yay. <laughs> nice pink. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't pick confirm at the bottom. I pressed the cross. Confirm. I want pink. Thank you very much. Um, activity. Nothing's been happening. Staff. Do I need to add people in? Ah, I see. Right. Okay. Let's add staff. Let's do this. Yeah, now, see, so this, this is the experimental branch bit. So this might go horribly wrong. Okay. Everyone is off shift. So we need a doctor to do the day shift. And yeah, so Sophia Larson and Liam Brown can do the day shift. And then Scarlett Rodriguez can do the evening shift, as can Levi Thompson. There's a nice diagram down the bottom there that I can't see. So we're covered between 8 and midnight. That's probably good, isn't it? That's good enough, isn't it? We have got the better people on, actually, looking at that. We've got... Oh, no. No, that's like, no, that's okay, actually. We've got someone with surgery and a radiographer in the day. In the evening shift, they're not there. But do you know what? That's probably fine. Is that fine? I don't know. So of these now, we've got a reception now. We've got an office. We just need to perform five patient consultations. So we need people to come in. And, oh, look. The band across the wall has changed colour because that's the, that's the wrong button. Look here. So my polyclinic is delineated by the band, the stripes on the walls. Oh, that's quite cool. Right, here's some people. There's some people. Okay, the cleaner's coming in to clean. This is this is good news. I'm happy with this. Uh, you're just standing outside. Who are you? You're the nurse. Nothing to do. You could you could go and do this, I suppose. Ah, oh, I know what I haven't done. <laughs> I know what might be quite important. Open the hospital. That might be something that could be useful, eh? Right, there's people coming in. There's people coming in. So you, nurse, this 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 this, this man here is ill. Oh, and there's an ill... Le she doesn't look that ill. She doesn't look poorly. She looks fine. Right, the doctor's gone into his room and left, curiously enough, weird... Weird hand... Weird handprints on the, on the ground, but okay. Right, he's talking to him. Can we click on him and find out what's going on? Oh, right, look. <laughs> yes, we can figure out what's wrong with you, Elias Hernandez. You've got a noticeable fever, a sore throat, notable fatigue, and a notable runny nose. Y you've got a cold, mate. You've got the flu, possibly. I can diagnose that. Come on. That is easy peasy. Right, okay, so his skills go up. So his general practice skill just went up by one, which is good. The cleaner just comes in mid-consultation. Okay, he realised what it was. And then we give him an invoice. So obviously this is not how UK hospitals work. I'm in the UK. This is not an NHS hospital would work. The NHS would not charge you for that kind of thing. That's all part of the service. Uh, a private hospital might do this, however. So it will be a private hospital. This is not an NHS hospital spending the GB pounds. It's a private hospital. So patient symptoms are getting worse. We are at the moment unable to explain further with our current equipment. And the patient was referred to another hospital. Dr. Liam Brown. Oh! Okay, now does he pay? So does he pay up? He pays her, does he? Organises that and then... Okay, yeah, so he's paid and we've got 10 reputation out of it. <gasps> That's very cool. Okay. Right, she's here saying what's going on. Can I have some information, please? She says, I've given you the information. I am unwell. I've got a grit. I look a bit, <laughs> look a bit like a zombie. She looks like a zombie. I do like the, um, the art style's really nice. Look, like the cleaner there. Like a nice sort of hand-drawn kind of style. She's got a... Um, yeah, again, uh, that wouldn't be allowed in a hospital. Surely her hygiene rules would prevent you from wearing a scarf on your head. But, um, yeah, look, so that's quite a nice style. And, yeah, well, that's quite, like, hand-drawn. Quite, yeah, I like the chunky lines around the outside. And the chairs and stuff look quite cool. The board looks nice. Yes, I like the, I like the visuals of it. Okay, well, let's speed time on. Okay, so now she's gone into here. So what's wrong with her? So she is unable to... Oh, we're unable to examine further with our current equipment. Okay. So we can't do any of that. Right, examine. 
examine further. Was there an examinations thing? So that reputation has gone up. So we've got 94 reputation. That's pretty good. I'll take 94 reputation. That's good. Can I do this now? Can I finish this and get myself 1,000 under the 10 reputation? Bosh. Yes. Okay. Start treating your patients. Open. Your patients need more than just talk. Sometimes they need proper examinations. The equipment to examine or treat a patient is missing. The doctor will refer the patient to another hospital. Yes. Okay. The patient will still have to pay for the consultation. And if he or she, I suppose, is referred to the correct hospital, give your hospital some good reputation. Reach a reputation of 100. One examination a room. Now, now, can we combine this room with an examination room? Because an office, an examination room, needs an examination bed and a medical cabinet. That's all it needs extra. So can I not just put them in their medical examination bed? Uh, let's twist it round. So that can go by the door. And the medical cabinet can go, I don't know, just there. Seems a pretty good place for it. If we get that in, get the little builder dudes to do the building. So they've delivered the boxes. So in come the caretakers. Bed is built. And cabinet thing is placed. Now that room there, can that be an examination room? Yes, it can. <gasps> Splendid. Can I get something out of that now, please? Yes, another 1,000. Another 10 reputation. Your employees need to rest their feet. One staff room. Uh, ah, no, that came from here, didn't it? We haven't done this yet. We've not got enough patient consultations going on. So let's speed time on then. And let's see what happens. So now, whoa, what's going on there? Okay, right. There's, actual, there's an examination going on. She's actually being examined. So annoying bruising... He's done an examination, and the result is... The result is... Broken arm! So we can't do anything about that. So she goes back in and says, Yes, my arm is broken. Annoying bruising. <laughs> You've broken your arm! So then we're going to say, We can't do anything with that, I imagine. Because we've got no method of doing that. Patient was scheduled for therapy. Physiotherapy treatment by Dr. Brown Liam. Physiotherapy? Surely you should just be, like, going to the fracture clinic in a hospital rather than this little place here, possibly. But okay, patient is getting better. Oh, she's got a smiley face. And she just... Oh, okay. That's another ill person. Okay, and now the other doctor is waiting outside, look. The other doctor is just there, waiting outside. So now he's swapped with him. So he's off shift, he goes home. He, goodness me, takes his money. Crikey's. Okay, and now there's ill people here. So could we do with two doctor's rooms? Oh, and we have achieved this thing so we did we did that we are now no longer a local office we're a clinic and we're aiming to become a lab oh that's exciting so build one staff room perform six more patient consultations perform six physical examinations okay and if we do that it unlocks so pharmacy ah the wc so restrooms are unlocked there uh sofas which i kind of want in the waiting room uh sinks toilets yet yeah, medical lockers and equipment shelves uh, a pharmacy presumably then can prescribe these things and then we can also diagnose pneumonia and a stomach also. Ugh. And a, a prick test is one of the things that we can then perform on people. Okay, so what did that unlock then before? It unlocked a staff room and some diagnoses of some sort. I can't go back. I can't click on it to go back and look at what we did just unlock. Uh, but a staff room was one thing. So where could a staff room go? Possibly over this side, on the other side of the corridor. Why not? Why not just put it just there? Like, I don't know what goes in a staff room. I don't know how big one needs to be. I imagine just some sofas, possibly. So have we got enough money? Can we build a very small staff room to begin with? Let's just keep it all down here for now. So, like, actually, no, cancel that, cancel that. Let's put it like this. There we go. That's better. So I don't have to delete the walls. So how about, let's put it long. Let's put it like that. That for a staff room. Three grand. It's got some squares. That's fine. Let's put a door to the staff room. Rotate it round. Okay, like that. They'll put the floor in. Jolly good. They've done that. They start doing their weird wall building thing. So I think when all the walls are in, the floor appears. Yeah, okay, more or less. That one's not in quite yet. There's a great big hole in the side of the building, please. Thank you very much. Okay, so then we can make... What makes it a staff room? A staff room is ju literally anything. Anything can make it a staff room. A chair. <laughs> Just one chair for the staff. Oh, that's very kind, isn't it? Okay, fine. 
So uh, a chair was in uh, what a decoration? No, furniture, of course. Okay, chairs. Can we have anything else? A vending, a coffee machine. Yes. Okay, yes. We want a water dispenser, a vending machine, and a coffee machine in the staff room. I think that would probably be a good idea. Uh, and chairs, obviously, as well. So let's put some chairs on the wall. It's a shame we can't have, yeah, comfier things, to be honest, but never mind. So we'll have, why can't I put a chair just there? Uh, and let's put in a water dispenser, because that makes sense. So we'll have that just there. And then, very important, coffee machine, yes. And then a vending machine in the corner as well. Okay, that's quite cool. And then we can make that a staff room yes okay so there's a staff room so she's gone to sit down while nothing's going on she's going to have a little rest and the doctor calls in the next person okay this is going terrifyingly well why is this going well i don't want that to be part of the thing the poly clinic or oh, does that mean the staff can only use that room oh i wonder right hang on pause because she's in that room if i do that and take that do I want to unassign this room from Polyclinic? Yes, I do want to do that. So if I go back in now and do that, that's the room I've got selected. No. And uh, do I want to assign this room to Polyclinic? No. But the wall is still pink borders just there. Okay, whatever. Do you know what? I I'll, I'll roll with it. It's fine. It's a staff room. They can go and use the staff room. It's absolutely fine. Okay, now what do I do? Now, what do I do? I just have to wait for them to do patient consultations and physical examinations. Okay. Oh, the nurse is doing some stuff. Where's the doctor gone? Oh, the doctor's gone to the vending machine. <laughs> so the nurse is doing it. Oh, good job, nurse. Oh, and the doctor went to the vending machine. He clocked, he finished his shift at whatever it was, half 11, went to the vending machine, then went home. I just paid you for half an hour just there, and you were at the vending machine. And you're going home as well. <laughs> There's people here. There are people. There are ill people right here. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Can we put anything else then? Sanitation. Trash cans. Ah, okay. Well, let's put one of those just there. And one of those possibly just... Can we rotate it round? Near the wall? Just there. And then a locker. A locker for staff, presumably, I would imagine. Oh, they don't rotate very well at all, do they? What way round is that supposed to be? That's facing forward. That's facing to the left, that's up, and that's right. Yeah, there, I think. Let's put a locker in place like that, just see if that does anything. I don't know if that's useful or not. But there we go. They don't look particularly good from that angle, do they? Oh, yes, because we haven't got we haven't got restrooms. Somebody has somebody has done toilet on the ground. Oh dearie me. Okay, right. Well let's wait for people to get back in. Gives me a chance of a little bit of tea. So let's wait for the staff to come back in. And then just crack on with this goal. Crack on with getting four more patient consultations and three more physical examinations underway. Now that lady's just gone in just there. That lady's gone into the doctor. This man here, I would think is priority. He has troublesome abdomen pain and terrible chest pain. And his condition is six. I would say Gavin Phillips is probably having a heart attack or has certainly got some sort of cardiac issues. And I'm no doctor, but terrible chest pain sounds to me slightly bad that, that's not a good thing right you what's wrong with you what were your symptoms oh my goodness troublesome stomach ache vomiting and nausea so you've just got a sickness bug you've got a sickness bug which again it's turned you into a zombie essentially which is a bit weird but this guy this guy is going to die this guy is going to actually drop dead if you don't see him very very soon what are you doing now why are you exclamation marking Yes, let him in. You, madam, go in. <laughs> this guy. This guy's going to talk about private things. You two need to leave. Fine, you just watch. It's fine. Maybe they're related or something. Oh, right. Help in Austria. Uh, Blizzard in Austria. Bibbly bobbly boot. No, go away. Decline. I'm not sacrificing my doctors at the minute. I don't know what I'm doing. I've only just got used to this whole thing. Uh, okay, right. Run time on really fast. Let's speed time on. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, he's running through. He's, run, he's running into... He's going to the vending machine. Ah, right. He's in the staff room. I don't like him being in the staff room. Let's put a vending machine out in the hallway. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Just furniture, vending machine. So, yeah, that's got a place where they stand, look. I quite like that. A little positional thing where they stand, which is good. 
and uh, maybe a water thing as well next to it because that's quite cool just there photocopy i mean what do i need these things for <laughs> don't know what i need that for right okay speed time on build the dudes put those things together stop people going into my staff room now there is actually there's a is it there there's a thing if i click that and go there restrictions is oh Oh yeah, patient. No, so I can I can say it's for like what's that? That's for a doctor, a caretaker, a nurse, everybody. That's for everybody. The hall is for everybody. The staff room, not for patients. Bye bye. Not for patients. Get out, my good man. How long does it take for you to actually buy something from the vending machine? Can you get out? I've asked you to leave there. Security. Security. Oh, I'm going to security. You, nurse Sophia Larson, sort it out, would you? Help in Brazil. The world needs a lot of help, doesn't it? You get 2,500 and you get lots of skills. Nine hours. No, not now. Let's just get this done. Let's try and get this sorted. We need to do one consultation, two physical examinations, and we get all this other cool stuff as well. So we get a pharmacy and WC, and then the pharmacist can prescribe things, and we build toilets and other exciting things. Let's get that in first. Oh, I've just noticed that this this machine here is the wrong way round. Oh, I've just achieved the thing. But more importantly, this is the wrong way round. Let's put it in the store and then let's get someone to turn it round because that's just going to irritate the heck out of me. Yep, okay. Yep, water dispenser. That way round. There we go. And then, by virtue of that, that is also the wrong way round. So store that. All right, run and do that. And then let's put that one in the right way round. So not that way like that i suppose if that's facing to the right like that there we go that's going to be much better yeah out the store and there we go to the drinks machines okay i've achieved this so now i can build lots of other things right okay where should we build some other stuff i think what we'll do is we'll have a mini series of this i don't i don't know how far this will go i really don't know how far this will go but look so we're a lab at the minute build a pharmacy is our thing. We also need to build a restroom because that would be quite useful. So we may need to expand the corridor a little bit, put the restroom, say, on this side, and then have the pharmacy above this waiting room, possibly. I don't know. I mean, the waiting room is quite big. We could have quite a lot of chairs in this waiting room. So I don't think we're pushed for space as it stands right now. We can always put another doctor room in just there. So yeah, I think that sounds like a pretty good idea. How big is this doctor's room? Three. So we could have three like that, another one going along. I don't know. It'd be nice to have another doctor room in. But yes, I think we can do that then. So build that up, the corridor a bit. Have the toilets up here. So have the restroom just here. Have the pharmacy just here. So you go in here. Your doctor says, oh dear, you've got that disease where your head falls off. You need to get some pills. You get your prescription, whatever it is. You go out this way. You go, thank you very much. I've got to go get some pills because my head's going to fall off. You go out the door. You go up here. You go in here and say, hello, can I have some pills to stop my head falling off? They say, yes, here you go. Take three a day and your head won't fall off. And then you go out and you pay your money and you leave. I think that sounds like a good plan. So I think we'll we'll do a series of this. We'll do a little series. It's gone okay. It's gone okay. Uh, yes, we've achieved this, which is good. Now, were there any other things where I, which I can achieve? There's no other sort of... Your employees need to rest their feet. Oh, I've done that. I've done that. Hang on. I can get four and a half thousand quid for that. Oh, yes. Patients are getting impatient. Uh, the patients are getting restless. Give them a place to wait. Mission goals. One waiting room. Seven and a half grand. Okay. Got drugs. <laughs> Got any drugs, mate. Okay, a pharmacy. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, that money is just probably paid for all the stuff that we need to do just there. So we can build the pharmacy and get someone in employed and build the restroom and build this other doctor's bit in and it shall all be very, very awesome. So there we go. Yes, I'm liking this at the minute. Hospitalize. So yeah, it's on early access on Steam if you want to go and pick it up or take a look or whatever. But we shall be coming back to this. We shall have a mini series. I don't know what legs it's got. I don't know how polished it is and how finished it is. But we'll certainly have a little go. We'll see how far we can get bumbling through until I think either, either a load of people are going to die. <laughs> Load of innocent innocent people are going to die, or um, or we'll just go bankrupt, or something utterly stupid will happen. But yeah, we'll we'll crack on for a little bit. If you have enjoyed this, please do leave a like, and also if you want to keep up to date with this series and all the other stuff we do as well, then please don't forget to subscribe. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Covered, and I will see you next time.
you can be the last accounting office. City tax offices. Boo, tax man. Yeah, you look busy. Is it a quiet day at Bedrock Insurance, is it? Is he going to use the stairs or is he going to be a lazy beggar? Yeah, you lazy ass. And all the lights are on. And I noticed that everyone has left their lights on. I'm paying for this electricity, you gets. 